Hi, I'm Susan Winter for SusanWinter.net, and my friend had asked me to talk about fixation and obsession. We've all known there have been times in our own lives where we've become just a little too mentally preoccupied with somebody. So how much of this is good for us, and how much of it is not the best usage of where to place our time, energy, and emotion? Well, I, I am of the firm belief that when you peel back the layers of fixation or obsession, that it actually can only happen when something about this person and the situation lies in the realm of the impossible. That's what creates a fixation instead of a tangible desire. Whether it's that they live all the way in Switzerland and you don't even have a passport and you met them once, that's kind of impossible. Whether they're married, happily married to somebody else and don't know you're alive, that's kind of impossible. Even somebody that you're with, that just by the mere fact that they're slightly out of reach, you can't really get them, what's actually kicking in is your desire to achieve the goal. And we as humans have a lot of fantasy about this goal. First of all, whenever something is withheld from us, it seems oh so much more delicious. I've known guys that um, have fallen for a model they've seen in a magazine. And actually, these are the kind of guys that, in time, were able to meet that woman and marry her. Okay, this is a real thing. So they finally reach their goal and get the thing with which they were fixated. And then they discover that their fantasy is now a reality. And the thing that looks so shiny isn't so shiny once it's in your hands and they find themselves bored and looking at other women to start the goal all over again. Now that's inherent to that kind of person, but it does say a lot about human nature. The goal is always so much more tantalizing when it is out of reach. So if right now you're currently fixated or obsessing over a person, ask yourself, isn't part of the kick, the payoff that I'm getting, the fact that this is so impossible, the nature of whatever I've got set up and the conditions around me getting my hands on this person are inherently impossible. Ah, that makes it more exciting, more of a challenge. And also ask yourself, aren't I fantasizing, creating an enormous dream over what I imagine this person will bring into my life? Because the fantasy and the obsession lies in fantasy. It changes dramatically when it's an attained reality. So if you can say yes to two of those things, don't worry. Part of the way that we deconstruct our obsession or our fixation on a person is to peel back the layers of what it is. And it's kind of like when people say, once you've seen it, you can't unsee it. So when we're working with something that's happening up here and we peel back the layers of how it's constructed and your mind understands it, it never quite has the same power over you again. On a very mild case, there are some people that become fixated with somebody because it gives them a focal point for their energy. I do know people that will say, um, it's, uh, it gives me a reason to wake up in the morning. If I think I'm going to see him at the gym, I get excited. It puts a spring in my step. That's kind of in between a crush and a fixation. But if you are using this person as a reason to motivate yourself in life, as a, as a reason to have hopes and dreams. Um, you're on the right track, but you just focused your eyes in the wrong location. Uh, anything outside of ourselves is not going to give us what we think it will. The only thing that's going to be really rewarding is if you take that same energy and focus it on your goals, on your life. So if you're fixated, just Ask yourself, does it lie in the land of impossible? And is that not why it's so exciting? And ask yourself if you can really peel back the layers of how much of a dream, a fantasy you've created on top of this person that you're falling in love with. Because it's probably the dream. It has nothing to do with the person. Thanks a lot. Susan Winter for SusanWinter.net.